Ah, the beauty of nature. As we head into a lovely sunset. Outside we are today and surely there's nothing out here Transformers related, right? Wrong. Stick around. We're going to have a look at something a little bit different. A little bit, uh, a little bit cool. In the latest Gapa True review. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Dennis Moulton, aka Gapbot. As always, please like, comment, subscribe, share, check out Machinery of Man, the Everything Factor. Have a look at Universal Collision. Season 1 is up. I'm working on Season 2 now. Spend some time on the channel, see what catches your interest. And, of course, check me out everywhere. And this is an automobile decal. Uh, this is on my car because, you know, I'm a good guy. I'm an Autobot. Starscream Girlfriend ordered these. Um, they came from China. Uh, they are, we thought it was going to come in one piece. It's not quite one piece. It is, I think it's a die cast. Um, and the black seems to be uh, like a latex paint. The adhesive was not al already affixed. It went in behind it and it goes attached to the vehicle. Um, I will say this, they're flat. You need a flat surface on your vehicle to attach these, but it looks absolutely glorious. It picks up shine and stuff really brilliantly well. Um, I absolutely love the Autobot one. Now, of course, trying to grade this as I normally do, poseability, playability, um, well, unless you want to pretend your car or your truck or your whatever is an actual transformer, it really doesn't have any poseability, playability, so a zero. Uh, paint apps. Uh, it's not red, but come on, that looks brilliant. Uh, Ten. Mine sticks very, very well. Um, transformation, well, no real transformation here other than it makes my car transform into something cooler. Uh, so there's the Autobot one. Absolutely, positively dig it. It has depth to it. Uh, you can probably see right there. It's not a flat sticker. It has depth to it. So I think that's really cool. Now that's the Autobot one. And this is the Decepticon one. It belongs on Starscream Girlfriend's vehicle. Are we really shocked that she has a Decepticon one? No! Now, the problem with hers is that it didn't affix quite correctly because she did not put it on a flat surface. The concern has been, and see if I can show it up top a little bit. You can see uh, kind of on, you know, the corners there that it's not exactly affixed. The, the concern is that the adhesive is going to come off with rain. There you go. You can see right there. It, it, you know, again, it's not just a sticker. It does, you know, stick off of the vehicle, which is cool. But you can see that it's not completely affixed. A uh, little bit of a shame, but again, it's on a curved surface. So you do need a flat surface for it. These were cheap. They're cute. You know, they're, they're, they're fun to add. It's very Shakespearean in nature. Uh, but it works for us. She picked them up. I thought that they were, that they were fun. Uh, uh, I've seen a lot of decals and usually they're just stickers. These are metallic, these are chromed, and they stick on just fine. Though we've had a concern with hers, it really hasn't come off. Uh, I did them and I just thought that it was kind of worth sharing for something different anyway. Thanks for dropping by, giving me a few minutes of your valuable time. Let me know if you have any decals or uh, if you know of any other sorts that kind of fall in line with this. I, yeah, I love to hear from you guys. And as always, I appreciate you dropping by, giving me some of your valuable time. And I look forward to the next time that you and I get together for another visit right here inside the videos.